Hello, it's Markham Matosh Chief from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating this procedural material that can go over buildings of the night sky. If you like this type of video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button just to boost up those YouTube algorithms. And let's get started. So I'm going to split this screen in half and change over to Shader Editor. From here, I'm just going to delete the principal BDSF and let's go Shift A Search, and I'm going to add in texture coordinates. From here, I'm going to add in a mapping. And then we're going to connect object to vector. From here, I'm going to search once again, and we're going to type in a brick texture. Let's bump that in there, put that into vector, put that into the surface. And now let's click on the materials. And now we can see our material. We've got this wonderful brick texture. From here, I want kind of it to be square. So row height is 2.5. Yes, brick width. Let's go 0.25 as well. So now we've got squares. However, they're not aligned with each other. So let's come up here and turn the offset up to zero. And now we've got this checkered pattern. I'm going to go control A search and let's put in a color ramp and we'll throw it in here. Let's kind of just move these around. There we go. So now we've got the black, the whites and the grays. I'm going to change linear to constant. And now we've got nothing but white squares. Lovely jubblies. However, I want it on its side. I don't want it at the top. So I'm going to set the rotation on the Y by 90 degrees. And now we've got it on both sides, but we want it on the X side as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all this shift G to duplicate. And let's move that down. I'm going to move this across shift a search RGB mix RGB. There we go. Let's plug that one in. Let's go color into here as well. And rather than Y rotation, let's go zero there and we'll change it to X 90. And now we've got squares on either side and they kind of look like windows. There's lots of lights on, but what we can do is we can just move this over. And now we've got a lot less lights. Oh, we've got barely any on that side. There we go. But obviously if we have a look, we don't really see them glowing. So what we'll come over D is rather than mix, let's just change this to add shift A, Let's create a mix shader, put it in there, but I want the color to be the factor. Let's go shift A, let's put in a diffuse and we're gonna set this to be black and we'll plug it in at the top. Shift A, last thing, let's add an emission and we're gonna plug that in the bottom. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I can plug that up to five. And if we wanna see it in Eevee really blooming, let's put it on bloom. And now we can kind of see it blooming from afar. If I were to go in, add a mesh and add a square in, let's just make that square the material as well. So we've got black, we can see from afar that we've got kind of like the start of a building that will glow.